Today we're going to have a look at how we can attach a weapon to a character mesh. So for instance, I have this character with a normal animation. And I also can trigger a rifle animation, except that obviously there is no rifle attached to the mesh. So today we're going to look at how do you attach, say, a rifle like this to the character mesh so that it is synchronized with the animation. So if we go into our main character, which is our attach character, and we click on the skeletal mesh, open that, and then go to the skeleton. So the way it is done in Unreal is by adding sockets to bones. So assuming this is a right-handed character with right-handed animations, we would want to attach the gun or the weapon or the sword most likely to the right hand. So if we go to the left side and search for the hand, and what we're looking for is the right hand. Now, if we right click on this, it will say add socket. And it will create a socket attached to the bone of the right hand. We can rename this to be our rifle socket. What we can also do is if we right click, we can add a preview asset. Now, I've already downloaded an assault rifle. So if I search for that static mesh it will give us a preview asset of what it will look like now what we need to do is orient this static mesh to the socket this obviously isn't a particularly helpful animation because we want to see what it looks like in the actual armed animation so if we go to preview scene and in the preview control controller, we set, choose new specific animation. We can then choose one of our idle animations. And here I'll choose the idle iron sights. We can also just pause the animation at the first frame. And now it's just a matter of orienting the socket, which has the preview rifle on it, into the correct location. So if we rotate it, maybe lift it up a bit. Bring it out. That's looking reasonably good. So really this is just a case of how fussy you want to be in order to make sure it is perfectly positioned. Maybe in a bit. That's minus 80.
So that's looking relatively okay if we just play the animation again. Said so you can just adjust this as you need to make it absolutely perfect. That seems to be quite, quite well positioned. So now we have a rifle socket attached to the hand bone just with a preview mesh here so we can align everything. Now obviously we still don't have anything on the character. So we go back to our weapon character. On the skeletal mesh, we will add another mesh. So a static mesh. We will set the static mesh to be our assault rifle. And here where it says, now automatically it will be at the base, but here where it says parent socket, we can click this and just check for, for rifle. Now it's automatically attached to the correct socket. So if we go back to our character in our unarmed or sort of animation, it's well connected. And I press one to trigger the armed animation. Again, it is now perfectly attached and playing the animation correctly. And this is So this is how you can attach a static mesh weapon to a character using sockets. Of course, you can add more than one socket to a, to a character. So say, for instance, I had a, an animation where the rifle is holstered on the character's back. So I've created just another socket on the back. So if we first of all remove the preview asset here, remove all attached assets and on the spine on spine bone 5 I've created a another socket so we if we can then also preview our assault rifle on on this socket so if you had an animation where they went from idle and they pulled the rifle out from, from the back and then started using it, you could start off with it attached here. So if I save that, go back to our character and on the static mesh here, which is our rifle mesh, let's just make it clear. If I change the uh, to spine 05 socket, it will be on the back. And we now play, he'll be running around with the rifle attached to the back. Obviously, if you had the animations, you could then do the transition from this socket to the other socket. And the way that you do that would be so here I've got a debug key, which will transition from the unarmed to the armed animation. What I could do is if I wanted to switch this from the back into the player's hand, is I would simply get the static mesh and say, attach component to component. The parent component will be the mesh, socket name will be the rifle, which we created in the skeleton. And I will tell it to snap everything to the target. So let's play again. We run around with it on our back. I press one and now I'm holding it. We could do it so that when it transitions back into the unarmed state, it returns the weapon. 
So we would essentially change the socket it's attached to based on whether it's armed or not. So we could do a select and we would select it based on whether it's armed or not. If it is armed, i.e. true, we will go to the rifle and if it's not armed, let's just find out the name of that socket. Copy it, copy it, and then we can just paste it here. Compile and save. So, there, armed, and it unarmed. Obviously, you can time when these changes happen, depending on the time of the animation, but that is the basic framework, how it would work.